going to step it up a little bit by looking at some examples that involve some squaring so we can kind of see some other stuff going on as well as an example where one of the functions has x in two places. So the first example here, we're looking at g of f of x. So again, order definitely matters. And we're going to start off by rewriting in the parenthetical notation g of f of x. So f of x in this case is x plus 4. And in this case, the g function is saying, whatever you're plugging in, square it and then add 1 to it. That's what the g function is telling you to do. So remember, anywhere where there's an x in the problem, we should replace it with a big fat parenthesis. Now in our specific problem here, we're plugging in x plus 4. So now it's just a matter of simplifying this algebraic expression. That's going to give us x squared plus 8x plus 16 plus our 1. And then we'll combine like terms. And that's the expression that we get for g of f of x. Now the second part of this example, we want to do g of f of x again. So again, that's going to be g of f of x. Now in this case, f of x is 2x minus 1. Now in this case, for g, we're going to replace each x with a big fat parenthesis. So that means whatever I'm plugging in, I'm going to square it and then add 2 times it. That's what g is telling me to do. So that for instance, if we want a g of 5, we'd plug 5 into both x's. In this case, we're plugging in 2x minus 1. So we're going to replace each of those x's with 2x minus 1. And then again from here, it's just going to be a normal algebraic simplification. We're going to do some squaring. So we'll do a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. We'll distribute the 2. And then we'll combine like terms. Now we could go ahead and write this in a factored form if we really want to, but I don't really see any benefit in doing so. And so there's our answer.